So it's on Kauai, planning out my summer trips. I got this call from WSL, Marty Thomas, saying, Koa, you got into the Challenger Series, which just changed my whole summer plans. Me and my background is a free surfer. I like to travel the world, get the best waves I can get, and make content, make YouTube videos for you guys to enjoy. That's what I love to do. But always, since I've been six years old, my dream has been to be on the championship tour. Challenger Series is eight events around the world. If you get top 10 after those eight events, then you're on the championship tour. This is my opportunity to show myself what I can do, put all my skills to the test, and potentially accomplish one of my life goals. First stop on the tour, Snapper Rocks. I traveled here to Australia with my favorite people in the world, my mom and dad. You excited? I'm excited, I'm so excited. They're just making me feel so safe and comfortable and they're so supportive, it's crazy. Dad is driving on the left side of the road, how do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel about that? Which way do I turn? I'll direct you. Snapper Rocks is one of the best waves in the world. One of the longest, most perfect right hand points the opportunity to put a contest jersey, compete against three other people, is a lifetime freaking just, oh my gosh, this is really happening, pinch yourself moment. For those of you that don't know, Snapper Rocks is one of the first ever man-made waves. I'm not talking about a wave pool, but I'm talking the Australians pumped the sand from the local harbor and dished it out around the point. So when a swell comes, it pushes the sand around the corner, creating a ruler edge sandbar where there's just perfect waves breaking all the way down the point. Pretty much like Kelly Slater's wave pool, but in the ocean. Arriving at Snapper Rocks, right away, we rolled up to our hotel room, walked out to the balcony, and I just saw three of the most perfect barreling rides. You could have got like a 20 second barrel. So I just freaked out, unloaded my boards, and ran up the point. Snapper rocks. And then I found out how freaking crowded it actually is. Four million people. With good waves comes a lot of people. Like I'm talking the most crowded lineup in the surfing world. People think pipeline crowds are crazy, but Snapper Rocks is on a whole new level. I think it has to do with because the wave is semi-friendly and it attracts like a wide range of surfing talent. The only way to catch a wave out there pretty much is either you're the chosen one that gets the wave or you just have to drop in. And, I don't know, for me, I, I, I just couldn't do that, so I didn't catch many waves. People are just dropping in on you, even if you're in the barrel of your life. It's actually quite dangerous, quite savage, but kind of entertaining.
after the adrenaline wore off from that first session, I started feeling the wear and tear of the travel. For me, I tend to get like pretty crazy lower back pains. I think a little bit could be from stress and like this contest is coming up and I want to perform, um, but also just dehydration sitting on the plane for so long. So I woke up in the morning and I could barely like stand. I came all the way here to Australia, now my body is kind of failing. Luckily, I have a secret weapon. My personal trainer, Matthias, is a freaking legend. You will realize that it is a defined energy, a defined power that makes that happen, no matter what it is. Yeah. It's a good trust, 100%. Yeah. Look how divine this is. It's helping you 24-7, every second of the day, yeah. for supporting you. He's all about positive thinking. You have that energy defined within you. Yeah. You know? So, instead of just laying on my back and not doing anything, I got right on a training with Matias. We stretched out my lower back and activated my abs. And it was amazing to see after my training session, it just felt like I released that pressure and I was ready to surf. So, one hour of training just like kind of solved my back issues, which was amazing. I was like, I'm all good to go. Let's surf. Let's get ready for this contest. We're here at uh, Deba, and that wave just spit. It's like classic offshore pumping Australia conditions, and I am pretty excited. That's what I need to do. I need to go out and have these just raw, fun, koa wild sessions. I had a couple moments where I like landed airs like hard and like kind of leaning back and usually my body would like hurt and potentially like get tweaked. But I felt so flexible and strong. I was like, oh shit, I just haven't surfed many events in a long time. So it's time to rebuild my confidence and find my levels because when I'm in a heat, I want to be able to just like be surfing my absolute strongest. All my preparation, everything is coming to this. I feel really good. I'm just gonna go get a quick surf before the contest. Solidify what boards I'm gonna use. Looks like it's pretty perfection out there. Minus all the humans and it would be just like the best thing ever. this with three other guys. My heat's one of the last heats of the day, so just gonna kind of conserve my energy. Now it's time to just like, just let go and let it happen. I think contest surfing in general is a really interesting thing. Um, it makes you focus on a whole nother depth of surfing. You have to be so in tune with your equipment, your body, your mind. 
and then you could paddle on your heat, and then Mother Nature doesn't deliver anything. Hitting the lineup, Luca Messina's Ramsey Bokheim, Coa Smith, and Matt Vanty. Right at the beginning of my heat, it was just a bomb set, and I just drop in. I'm just like, oh my gosh, is this real? Did like 12 turns. Thing is, Carl got a wave in that first flurry. He got he got probably one of the biggest waves we've seen in the last few hours. Luca Messina and Coa Smith both sitting in third and fourth place. Coa Smith has been really patient in this heat. He's just got a single six one seven on the scoreboard. Coa Smith with the paddle in front of him. He's already going for speed now. Last the bottom. Coming all the way to Australia and just going down in my very first heat, it was it was a stinger. But as I rode into the beach and saw just a flock of groms coming up to get my signature and take photos, all that disappointment just disappeared. Watch all your YouTube videos. Yeah, I'm making one right now. It made me so psyched just to feel that support from from you guys. And you guys are a part of my journey and I'm gonna dig deeper and train harder and learn from my mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it just like brought me back to being so thankful for this opportunity and being here in Australia and getting to compete against the best. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It feels so good to upload another YouTube video. Uh, comment in the comments below what you want us to do here in Australia. We're currently packing the car now and headed down to Sydney for a whole new chapter, a whole new video, a whole new contest. So like and subscribe. Thank you so much for all your guys' support. We'll try and get you more videos soon. Please subscribe to the Smith Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>